In this video we'll be talking about linear interpolation. Linear interpolation is a strategy that is employed when you are looking at physical property data uh, and the tables that you're, you're looking at do not have the number uh, that you are interested in. So let's say for example we have some hypothetical fluid here uh, where we're looking at the, the density as a function of the temperature. Potentially in the back of a book it may say that you have uh, you know, the density or the specific gravity in this case at 100 degrees Celsius or 200 degrees Celsius, but for the particular problem you're interested in, you need to know what it is at 120 so that you can crunch the numbers. So the best way to visualize this is to look at this tabulated data as if it were plotted. So in this case we have the y and x-axis, where the y-axis in this case would be the density, the x-axis would be the temperature, Firstly, we can label these here. We have x, we have y, we have one data point and two data points that we can then plot on our graphs here. Linear interpolation relies on the assumption that we can draw a straight line connecting these two data points in order to estimate what our unknown value is. So at 120 degrees, we will draw it up to the line, draw it over, and we are trying to figure out the formula that allows us to know what the value is at the temperature of 120 degrees. So I'll just put the formula um, <clears throat> in the video and then we can uh, discuss sort of what it means. So we can see here this point, let's change the color, would correspond to x1, y1. This point here corresponds to x2, y2. So we can see that this formula here has the rise over the run and then multiply that by the step difference between the two which is this term up here. So if we were to apply this formula to the data, we would find that y, which is equal to the density at 120 degrees Celsius would be equal to 1.04. In this case, here would be our value of x and y that we are solving for in the system.